Though I'm not thrilled about melons, this seems to be a very interesting variety. It was it has to be finished. Oh, okay. Yes. That's why it's expensive. This is uh, 2000 a little bit more than other things. Still, 2000 is like 50 cents. I am Okay, so Nice. That's so cool. Nice stand. You know, sour sauce there also. I haven't seen that too much here. What does that smell like, Stephen? I've never smelled anything like it. I can't even explain it. Let me get a whiff of that. Oh! Different. I don't know that smell. It's onion y. That's, uh, that's onions. Yeah, I've never smelled a melon that smells like that. Yeah. So this might be something very different than. Very savory smelling uh, melon. Yeah. Huh. Let's try it. Melon! We found a melon in Africa, and this is different than a lot of the melons that we've seen before. It looks like a little, I don't know, Santa Claus melon or something. Alrighty. Cuts very easily. I'm gonna cut off one little piece like that. Huh. Okay. Color on the inside. All right, there's all sorts of music going on in the background. We're kind of hoping that uh, none of it's going to set off the YouTube copyright alarms. So we've been kind of like pausing the video and stuff, but whatever it is, it is. I think we're gonna just have to have to review it with music as we are. So there's the inside. It looks very much like a uh, like cantaloupe, just different shape, maybe a little bit whiter. But the smell on this, it's like a cantaloupe. Yeah, it smells very different from the outside. It's maybe like a little pumpkin-y, like a little, little pumpkin -er than a typical cantaloupe. Hmm. So, I'm gonna take a bite. This doesn't taste anything like a melon. Maybe it tastes like a melon, but... That's a texture of... Texture's weird. That's a really weird thing. It's pasty. It's really pasty. It doesn't... It's not... Melony, it's not, it's, it's, it's like super starchy. Like a, like a cooked potato. Like a wet cooked potato. Like if you, if you boil the potato for a long time until it's almost falling apart. That's the texture and a little bit of the flavor. Yeah, it doesn't have any sweetness. Very low sweetness. It's a little bit. It's like a one out of 10 on sweetness. Not a zero, but a one. And no tartness. The flesh around the seeds is very, very, very bitter. I mean, this is obviously a pepinoid or a member of the cucumber family. Yep. But it's this is probably some other species because I've never had anything that has a texture anything like this. Now, uh, so we're, we're gonna try some of the inside, like around the seeds. There's like a little bit of a gel-like substance. So I'm gonna try some of that. Eating the melon snot is what I'm doing. Ah, oh. it's like sour mm -hmm. and acrid and very bitter. Very bitter. Oh, yeah, that stuff around the seas is no good. Um, the flesh is like it's not bad. It's not especially good though. But that stuff around the seas is like terrible. I would definitely get rid of that. When the skin comes off of this, kind of strangely. I get peels, which is really weird. Like normally, that's not how. Yeah, melons like, don't peel like that. It's very, uh, very thin. So take yourself uh, a cantaloupe and take out almost all the sweetness. Mix it with a potato. Take all the good flavor. Give it the texture of like a wet boiled potato. Throw in some bitter snot in the middle and uh, give it the flavor of like kind of like a pepino melon but not yeah. as good yeah and that's what you get here we're not sure what this thing is if you know let us know in the comments uh, yeah. I'm not sure how people use it they might not eat it fresh they might like cook with it or, or mix it juice or yeah mix it in a salad maybe I think or maybe you... it's a thickening agent or something could be like if you took this and just turn this into sauce maybe that might be good uh-huh 
there's there's something amiss with it, this it, melon. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of more like pumpkin pulp. So we don't know what it is. It's not very good, but it's new to us. We never had it. Mm -mm. Uh, we don't know what it is. So if you know what it is, let us know in the comments. Because uh, I kind of would like to know what I'm eating, but uh, I don't want to eat it again. Do you want to eat it again? I'm cool. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. Here is a local banana. That's here. Steven picked these up. Very cheap. They're like 100, so it's a uh, 135th of a dollar. For how many did you get? Um, that's a price each. It has a very, very strong smell of bananas. And it, it, it tastes like artificial bananas, not like Cavendish. It's really dense. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like just like picking this up, it feels, it's like hard. Yeah. It's not soft at all. It's not a soft banana. It feels like heavy for its, its size, too. It's so small, but it feels heavier than like a full Cavendish banana. Yeah. Wanna try some? Yeah. Typical color, maybe a little cream colored. Oh wow. It's like if you took like your typical banana flavor, like Cavendish banana, and you just like cranked up that flavor. It tastes about the same, but it's much stronger. But the most interesting thing to me is that it's like the texture of this. There's nothing weird about it, but it's very strong for its size, very dense and heavy for its size. And that's, uh, that's pretty unique. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.